if I had to give you three pieces of advice, the first one would be this. Financial independence is the only independence. You know, it's very fashionable nowadays to say, follow your passion. Boss, passion does not put food on the table. Yes, we want to feed our souls, but we need to feed our stomachs as well. And what you do to feed the stomach is what finances you to do the things you want to do to feed your soul. In any artistic profession, any profession, uh, it's not fashionable to say that is hatke. You love what you do, you get good at it, and then the money comes. But that gap between loving it and the money coming is indefinite. Sometimes it might never come. That's the gap that you have to last out. I mean, think about it. Shah Rukh Khan, Shadiyon mein naachta hai. I mean, if he does that, who are we? I remember when I uh, started doing stand-up comedy in London. I was the only Indian comedian in the entire UK. I used to wake up at about 10, 30, 11 in the morning. I would cook one meal for myself at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I would get into some comedian's car to drive to some city in the UK. We would drive for about four hours, get to this comedy club. I would perform for between five and ten minutes after having driven for four hours. And uh, at the end of the show, I mean, I was nervous. I wouldn't eat. If the club wasn't giving us free food, uh, I couldn't afford to eat in more, most of those places. The show would finish about 10, 30, 11 at night. I would get dropped off in the outskirts of London at about 2 o'clock in the morning. I would pay the driver my share of petrol. I wasn't getting paid for any of these shows. I would change three different buses, sometimes waiting for 45 minutes in cold London winter. And I would get home at about 4.35 in the morning. I did that every single day for an entire year. At the end of that year, I had no money, no friends, no relationships and no life. But every single comedy promoter in the country knew my name. And I remember at the end of that one year, I was broke. So I joined a recruitment firm to feed the stomach. I used to work in the day, I used to perform at night. And you know, now it's, uh, I'm talking about 2005. It's now very fashionable to use the phrase uh, hustle. But I remember what I used to do. I used to go to restaurants and if you're a customer at a restaurant, you can drop your business card in. At the end of the month, you know, they pull out a card, uh, you get a free meal. When nobody was looking, I used to steal those business cards. I used to go to my office the next day, cold call these guys, place them in jobs and get a commission. I remember in those days, uh, we didn't have the internet on our phone. When I was traveling at an airport, I would go to the business center when nobody was looking. I used to walk to every single terminal, open the browser and change the homepage to papacj.com. That was 17 years ago. Even now, when I go to an Apple store and nobody's looking, I will still go into the same thing. As regards the second piece of advice, declare war on the word should. We have too many people telling us, oh, this is what you should do. There is no right way. There is only your way. You know, it's now uh, in our culture, growing up in India, everyone says, oh, beta, settle ho jao. I want you to settle down. I mean, what do you, I mean, am I dust? Like, what do you mean by settle down? Our definition is, you finish school, you finish college, you do a master's degree, you get a job, you get married, you have two children, then you are settled. At what point in this journey are you exploring the things that you enjoy doing? The things that actually float your boat, right? And you've got to remember one thing. The worst thing you can ever do is compare yourself to anybody else. Each person has their own journey. There will always be somebody who is younger than you, who is smarter than you, who is better looking than you, who is making more, more money than you. If you compare yourself to somebody else, it is the fastest shortcut to unhappiness. So the second piece of advice I would give you is carve your own path. Don't be in a hurry. Good things will come to you in time. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the trade or profession that you have chosen. Experiment, try different things. There is no hurry for you to be on a 30 under 30 list or a 40 under 40 list. Those things are meaningless. A lot of people who are on these lists live miserable, unhappy lives. 
because they're trying to put on the show for somebody else. Oh, look what I'm doing as opposed to actually finding joy in it. And the last piece of advice I would give you is to live a life of compassion. It doesn't matter how famous you are, how talented you are. If you're an asshole, you're just a famous asshole. Nobody wants to work with you. Nobody wants to be near you. Be kind, be humble. You know, I've done shows at, at full houses at the Sydney Opera House. I've performed on Broadway in New York, the Soho Theatre in London. Many fancy stages. The shows that really give me joy, I do in my happiness project. I go to the homes of people who have been unwell for a long time. Pre-COVID, I was going to the homes of people who are terminally ill. I remember performing in the bedroom of a lady who was 80 plus. She had a leg amputated, used to go for dialysis three times a week. And for 40 minutes, I just entertained her. And her family was in tears because they hadn't seen their mother laugh like that for years, frankly. And to me, those are the things that bring me joy. If you can touch somebody's life in a positive way, if when people think of you, they have a smile on their face, for me, that is far more meaningful than the amount of money you have, the size of the house you live in, the car you drive, or, or how famous or, or talented you might be. So those are my three mantras for life which is be financially independent, live your life based on your own terms, not something that society or your parents or any form of peer pressure forces you to. And uh, just be a good human being, yeah? We're here for a short time. Uh, let's be good to each other. Cool.